Welcome to Code with Miracle channel. Today we are going to learn function prototypes. Before that, first let's revise what is function. It is a block of code which will run only when it is called. Why we need function? If you want to use the block of code in same file or different file, then we need to repeat or rewrite the code. This will cause duplicate code in our program. If you want to update your code, then you need to update in all other places. If you have a function, then you just need to update on a single place. And let's see the advantages of function. It brings us reusability, dividing a complex program into a simple ones, increased program readability, and also reduces the chances of error. Then finally, modifying the program becomes easier. Now let's move into function prototypes. In function prototypes, we have four different types. Function without argument and without written type. Function with argument and without written type. Function without argument and with written type. Then finally, function with argument and with written type. Now let's get started. First, let's start with function without argument and without written type. For that, we need to write a function. Here, I'm going to write an addition function call. For that, I need to use def, which is a keyword to define the function in Python. Then, I'm going to use the function name add1. Then, I'm going to open the argument. Here, you can see it is uh, without argument, so you don't need to pass any argument. Then, uh, it is also without written type, so you don't need to return anything. And here, I'm going to define a equal to 10 then b equal to 50 you can define single line so a comma b equal to 10 comma 15 now I don't want to return anything so on the case I can print the result directly here so I'm going to use print a plus b this will give me the result of sum of two number that's it now let's move into second type function with argument and without written type for that we need to pass the argument so it would be expecting the arguments and the function name would be add to here i'm going to have arguments so a comma b then i'm going to specify colon then without written type so it is similar so i'm going to use print let me correct this typo error now i'm going to type print and i'm going to write a plus b now let's move into third type which is function without argument with written type so def add 3 is my function name then without argument so i don't need to add any argument here with written type i'm going to specify same thing a comma b a comma b this time i'm going to give uh, 10 and 20 let me correct this typo error let me clear this unnecessary zeros now here if you see it is having written type so I'm going to return the result return then a plus b so the third type is also completed now uh, let's move into the final type function with argument and with written type so here you would be expecting the arguments and expecting the return so def add four it is with argument a comma b and with written type so return a plus b now let's try to run our code if you run your code it will not print anything as i said earlier your function will get called only when you try to call them so let's call them i'm going to use print so that if it returns something it will print them in console so i'm going to call add one function it doesn't require any argument so we don't need to pass anything now let's print uh, add two function which is also doesn't return anything but it requires argument here i'm going to pass uh, 
50 50 50 for variable a and 50 for variable b now let's move into third type which is function without argument and with written type so it is without argument so you just need to call the function that's it add three and open the braces let me correct this typo error then finally we have function with argument with return type let's try to print and here it is function with argument so here the argument would be 100 come on 100 let me clear this typo error that's it now let's try to run our code here it is type error it should be add four now let's try to run our code so that we can understand it better here you can see for the first function call it printed 25 and it also printed none because it is not returning any data from the function that's why it printed none so first one is working fine and for the second type function with argument without written type here it is doing the addition if you see we have passed 50 and 50 so that's why it is giving a 100 and it is printing none because it is not returning anything now let's move into third type function without arguments and with written type here you can see 10 plus 20 is 30 and since we are returning it so it didn't uh, printed none then finally function with argument with written type here you can see we are passing 100 and 100 and it is returning so that's why it didn't print it none thanks for watching